Fuller House brought in some of the franchise's best guest stars for DJ Steph and Kimmy's triple wedding in the show's series finale. There were some notable absences like Aunt Becky, who's apparently in Nebraska, the show's way of working around Lori Laughlin being fired from the series, and nope, Michelle didn't make it either in the show, didn't even bother explaining why, but they did make up for it with a few unexpected guests. I'm Greg Elliott with Scream Rant, and pin a rose on your nose, here's every surprise cameo from Fuller House's final episode. I really can't miss my plane to London. I have that exclusive interview with Prince Charles. Oh, well, why don't you interview me? I'm from a royal family. Oh, it's true. My uncle Leo, he was the muffler king of San Jose. Danny's ex fiance Vicky Larson, showed up to the wedding, having appeared once before on the show in the third season finale after DJ and Stephanie invited her to the house to surprise their dad. She never showed up again after that until the wedding, but the fact that she did might be an indication that she and Danny did keep in contact after reconnecting a couple years ago. Dwayne, is that all you say? Whatever. I guess. <laughs> and it wasn't just Danny who had an ex at the wedding. Even Kimmy's former boyfriend, Dwayne, showed up. Now, it is kind of weird that he was there, considering that on Full House, they did almost get married at the Create Your Own Wedding Chapel, but they did bump into each other again at their high school reunion in season two, which is possibly why he was invited. And yes, he, of course, did get in one final whatever to please the fans. All right, man. You got some pretty juicy chops there. It's funny, I said that to the butcher this morning. <laughs> DJ's ex Viper was also there, although you may have missed him considering he didn't actually have any solo screen time. DJ and Viper originally met in season 8 of Full House, and like Dwayne, he also attended their high school reunion where he not only bumped into DJ, but also his former rival Nelson, who was weirdly not at the wedding. We are gathered here today to join Stephanie and Harry in holy mattress money. Similar to Viper, there wasn't much exposure for Harry Takayama, Stephanie's grade school classmate that she pretend married in the original show. In season one of Fuller House, Stephanie thought that he was trying to reconnect romantically, but it turns out he was just trying to invite her to his wedding. Harry didn't return again until the finale, although it's hard to tell whether he was there with his wife or not. <laughs> he says, uh, welcome to the family. Arigato. Now, CJ and her daughter Rose don't have any ties to the original show, but their return in the finale was still surprising considering CJ was previously engaged to Steve and he dumped her at their wedding in Japan for DJ. So it's a little odd that CJ was willing to watch her ex-fiance marry the woman that he left her for. Granted, she and DJ did kind of patch things up, but it's still weird that she'd even want to attend their wedding at all. Hey, Derek, come on, you're gonna be great out there. No, I can't do this. Before the wedding, Fuller House already pulled potentially the most surprising guest to appear in the show, Derek Boyd, otherwise known as the Yankee Doodle Boy from the original series. When the minister that they booked had to cancel at the last minute, Derek tried out for the part and even sang a bit of his signature song. Now, he didn't get the gig, but someone else much bigger did. Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block, the three girls' ultimate teenage crush, who previously appeared with the band back in season two. Now, he didn't bring the rest of the new kids back for the wedding, but we're pretty sure that DJ Kimmy and Steph were totally fine with having just Joey officiate their big day. It's kind of a shame that Fuller House wasn't able to get Michelle back for the final season or even the final episode, but the producers didn't even ask since the Olsen twins had said no way Jose more than once before. How rude. But either way, the show was able to close things out with some great cameos from the show's past, and if there's ever a fullest house, we'll be sure to let you know, so keep coming back to Screen Rant to stay in the loop. I'm Greg Elliott, and have mercy.